With the holidays in full swing, a local municipality has an annual event and a Christmas parade that you don't want to miss. All the details of the event and the parade are coming up on Polk Place. Welcome to Polk Place. I'm your host, Lauren Lingell. Joining me in studio, we have uh, Bryce Trafford, who is the special events coordinator. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And then we have the wonderful Ryan Ritchie, sure. the yeah. uh, <laughs> Parks and Recreation um, Deputy Director. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Man, you got these titles, and you're just kind of a big deal. Well, <laughs> Lauren, I just want to say that I appreciate that you're hosting today because. <laughs> I know that viewership is much more increased when you're hosting rather than that guy, Brian Lacey. Mm. Um, so I'm really glad to see that you're hosting the show today. You, you flatter me. I'm pretty <laughs> sure he's going to cut this out because he can't take it. I know. Yeah. someone else in the spotlight. Well, I had a chance to watch the last show where Lindsay and Bryce were talking about Veterans Day and all the things that we're doing then. And I saw Brian kind of took some digs at me. So <laughs> payback. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Exactly. So we have you have some exciting things coming up this this holiday season. Um, the parade's back. Yeah, the the uh, the the Haines City Christmas Parade is back. It it took a few years off, and uh, last this past year, one of our commissioners, Commissioner Ann Huffman, Vice Mayor Huffman, um, decided that she wanted to see the parade come back. So. We uh, put our heads together and, yeah. and the, the Christmas parade is coming back. We're certainly excited. I know the community is, is excited about it coming back. So we're, we're in full swing and uh, we can't wait for it to be here. So Bryce, tell me a little bit about the event and uh, the parade and all of the, the good things happening with yes. both. Yes, so um, the parade is gonna be on Friday, December 20th at 7 p.m. Um, it's gonna be in Haines City, starting on Oak, um, and then go to Peninsula. Peninsula, the route is on our Facebook if you need it. Um, but it's gonna be a good parade. We've got about 30 to 40 people entered, so it's gonna be a good length Christmas parade. The theme is just holiday, because we wanted to encourage anyone who wanted to be in it to be in it. We didn't wanna exclude anyone from a theme. Um, but before that, we have Glitter, Glisten, and Snow coming up on Saturday, December 7th. So okay. we've been doing that event for years and years and years. So, so uh, forgive me, but I am not familiar with this event. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What, what do we do at the Glitter, Glisten, and Snow? Well, first and foremost, the, um, I want to say without the support from Visit Central Florida um, and Polk County Tourism and Sports Marketing, we certainly couldn't do the events. They provided some wonderful support for both Glitter, Glisten, and Snow and the Christmas Parade. And I just want to thank uh, the folks over there for their support. And we appreciate everything that they do to, to make our events better over in Haines City. But, uh, but yeah, a lot of great things going on um, during Glitter, Glisten, and Snow. Of course, we have snow. Somehow we, we make snow in the park. And so that's going on. Of course, Santa Claus. But it's not um, like cold. It's just going to be like whatever the temperature is. Well, and then, whatever, yeah, exactly. And then Florida snow. Whatever yep, the yep. temperature okay. is, snow will be falling at Lake Eva Community Park. And I don't uh, want to come out there and see a bunch of people like all bundled up and it's like 85 degrees because I'll be, I'll be like, wait a minute. No, no. <laughs> I, I think uh, we won't tell you the trick on how we create snow. But, um, but yeah, our the Haines City Fire Department uh, will be delivering Santa Claus. He... He, uh, he'll be there, so mm -hmm. Santa Claus will be in town for, for uh, all the families that come out. And uh, we have wonderful light display within the park as well, vendors, craft vendors, so on and so forth. So um, it's really gonna be a great thing. And we kind of have a different feature this year that we came up with. And so if, you're a, if you know how to ice skate, mm -hmm. Um, Even if you don't know how to ice skate. Yeah, yeah. you'll be able to, uh, to come out and ice skate on the artificial um, ice rink that we're gonna have. I would love to see Brian Lacey on a pair of ice skates. That I would, would be too. Great. 
I would love to see that happen. I wonder if we could turn his cowboy boots into ice skates, because I would love to see that oh, yeah. with the blue jeans. Because if he fell and split his pants, then I would really laugh. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we got to get him out there and, and see what, I just can picture him like. Let's put a GoPro on him and just yeah. see how that turns out. Exactly. Yeah. It'd be like uh, Blair Witch Project with oh, the cameras nice. all over the place. But you guys are really, you're really doing it up nice. You've got got a place to ice skate not something mm -hmm. a lot of people get to do that live right. here in central mm -hmm. florida or florida for that matter and um it sounds like a great little community event where you've got some vendors and a little bit of this and that yeah we also have the local um a lot of the local dance groups and performing groups come out and perform on the stage um so they they work on their holiday um acts for months and months so we like to give them a place to come out and do that in public for, and have an audience and you know kind of add to the event awesome yeah. so like kind of like rockets meets like carolers kind of we have kind of like you know we have our um our local dance companies and then we've got one of our local schools has a bucket drum line so Ooh. they'll be there and one of the bands and it's a good mix of different things that sounds really awesome yeah Th this is an event that's been going on for 20 some odd years I mean it's it's a staple of the community everybody looks forward to glitter glistening snow every year and and our team does a wonderful job and certainly we couldn't do it without the support from from the the commissioners and mayor Morris West and and uh, city administration and things like that so um, we're certainly excited, and, and I think what December 14th, we do a um, breakfast with Santa yes. as well. Mm -hmm. So every weekend in December, we have something going on over in Haines City. Kids need to get over to Haines City. I feel That's like right. Santa's showing the love there. They he need is. to get in his ear and let them know what's happening and that they've been good this year mm -hmm. and what they want for the Christmas. <laughs> yeah. I've already written my, my letter to Santa and what I want, and it's already shipped on on its way to nor the North Pole right now. Does it say give Brian Lacey coal? <laughs> yes, yeah. it does. Especially after I saw that last show that he taped. But I can't believe he wimped out and, and couldn't host the show today. You know, he just, he needed me to stand in. I'm like one of Santa's little elves. I'm just like representing there today. You go. And uh, we're certainly excited about all the great events going on over in Haines City. It sounds fantastic. And you are not short on any um, holiday cheer this season over in Haines City. Never. So I'm I'm thrilled to know that there's so many great opportunities to get in the spirit. If uh, you're one of those people that takes a little bit longer, I, I feel like these events, um, the parade and of course uh, glisten, glitter and snow are perfect for setting the tone for the, for the holiday season. So. Well, and if you haven't had a chance to come out to the Lake Eva Community Park, you just have to check it out. I'm sure you've been out there before, but it's just a perfect venue for everything that we have going on out there. And, you know, we're, we're certainly excited to have a venue like that. Um, we couldn't do half the stuff that we do without uh, the Lake Eva Community Park and, and even the, the other parks that surround the city and stuff like that. So we're... We're blessed to have a, a venue like that over and, there. And this year, I don't know if that's different from, from years past, you're gonna use a whole park. Oh yeah, I mean, pretty much the band shell, the great lawn, I the mean, parking there's- parking lots, we use it all. Right, the lights, okay. the light display pretty much is set up throughout the whole mm -hmm. whole park. So there's so. plenty of space for everyone. Plenty. Absolutely. There's, there's no worrying about, oh, I'm gonna have to like truck through all this and have this traffic and this stuff, there's just, it's there. Yeah, there's exactly. There's plenty of activities for the entire family. So there will be crafts. Our library staff will be there to do their green screen so they can um, take holiday photos of everybody. Um, like he said, we'll have the vendors, we'll have food trucks, we've got bounce houses, the ice skating rink, entertainment, it just goes on and on. So. And, and a big shout out to the Northeast uh, Polk Chamber of Commerce. They're mm -hmm. going to be partnering with us to do hot chocolate and, and cookies and things like that. So. The hope is that it's not 85 degrees because yeah. hot chocolate and 85 degree weather, it just doesn't really mm, mix well. well hopefully the weather gods will smile on you and, yes. and send a chill. And if real snow falls, then we have an issue. Yeah, oh boy. also. No kidding. If real <laughs> snow falls, I'm going to fly south for the one. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, um, thank you for coming on and, and sharing with us about these great events. Um, hopefully 
a lot of our viewers will, will get out there and, and partake in the, the wonderful celebration because after all, it is the most wonderful time of year. It, it really is and, and again, we, we uh, on behalf of our staff at the city of Haines City, we appreciate what PGTV does um, for us and all the great things that you do. The, coverage you provide us. I know we joke a lot about Brian and things like that. He's really a good guy. But uh, but no, we appreciate what, what PGTV brings, not only to Haines City, but the county as a whole. You guys are mm -hmm. wonderful. You're, you're always in the community and supporting everything that's going on. So we appreciate PGTV and all your support and thank you so much. Oh, absolutely. And I, I'm sure I am not speaking out of turn when I say that they love helping out and, and spread, spreading the word with the wonderful things you're doing. So Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Haines City Parks and Rec invites you to check out Glitter, Glisten, and Snow Saturday, December 7th from 6 to 9 p.m. at the Lake Eva Community Park. Countdown with them as they light up thousands of lights on the 31-foot Christmas tree at the Lake Evil Park. There will be sides, arts and crafts vendors, local children's entertainment, food vendors, and more. Guests of honor include Mr. and Mrs. Claus. This event is free and open to the public. Also, don't forget the Haines City Christmas Parade is scheduled for Friday, December 20th at 7 p.m. For more information on the parade routes or glitter, glisten, and snow, you can look them up on the web at www.hanescity.com. Check them out on Facebook or give them a call at 863-421-3700.